think uh, an epidemic, either naturally caused or intentionally caused, is the most likely thing to cause, say, 10 million excess deaths. Uh, and that it's pretty surprising how little preparedness there is for it. Now, it's tricky because this is a global problem, so you know, how do countries work together, which countries should put up what resources, uh, and you know, every aspect of it, the, uh, the resources to go engage in the, the affected countries, the allocation decisions. As we've seen various flu scares come along, uh, we haven't had a, a super good response. So the paradigmatic examples are uh, smallpox for an intentionally caused thing, that there was a simulation called Dark Winter that didn't come out very well, uh, i.e. smallpox scored one and humanity scored zero. Uh, <coughs> flu epidemics, where you know we always talk about the potential recurrence of a 1917-like uh, Spanish flu problem. And then Ebola, which although it was much smaller, uh, there was some luck involved in that. Because it wasn't spread uh, through uh, respiratory contact, uh, the reproductive rate was a lot lower and you know, it was basically people who were sick or dead uh, who were doing most of the transmission. And so through a lot of heroic effort and a little bit of luck, it stayed under control and was largely contained to the three countries. You know, Zika is still recent.